What is up, everybody? Welcome back to The Badass Times. My name is Matt, and today we're checking out the official trailer for Dune Part 2. That's right. Denis Villeneuve, the great director, is back once again for the second half of the first book, or I would say three-fourths of the second part of the first book because the first movie just kind of ends, you know, literally, uh, you know, almost a, you know, a little more than a third, you know, quarter to a third of the way through the first book. And, uh, yeah, super stoked for this. The first, the first movie was incredible, but I know it felt general audiences probably a little dumbfounded, a little confused because of where it just ends. And, uh, it's a really a bold choice what they did by ending it right there because it kind of just, that's the beginning of the story. It's not the anywhere close to the end. And people have never read the novel, the great, no, the great novel Dune by Frank Herbert. Uh, literally that book is like 80 years old now. And, uh, but, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, people are going to be blown away by what happens in the second half of this book. People, general audiences or just, Average moviegoers who think they know where this story is going are going to be completely stunned. Especially if we ever get to see uh, Dune Messiah and Children of Dune. Uh, so stay tuned, hopefully for that. But for now, let's get into this. This literally just dropped live. I paused it on the premiere screen. I hope it still plays through. I'm a few minutes behind. Had to get my camera going and everything. But uh, yeah, if you're new to The Badass Times, hit that subscribe button and uh, join me on this epic journey that is The Badass Times, where we do movies, music, reactions, and talk and discuss movies. And uh, yeah, here we go. Six seconds and counting. <laughs> Stoked. It's breathtaking. Ooh. When you see sand here, imagine water. If you dive in, you can't reach the bottom. You dive in? Yes, it's called swimming. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you. <laughs> in the shadows of Arrakis lie many secrets. But the darkest of them all may remain. Yeah. The end of House Atreides. My father didn't believe in revenge. This is going to be so good. Holy shit. What if all the treaties were still alive? Gurney. Oh, first look at Austin Butler. So much shit going down right here. Have you ever had a dream about your first ride? Come on, show it. We're just going to impress anyone. <laughs> You're brave, we all know that. Be simple. Be direct. <laughs> Nothing fancy. I understand. We're gonna show it. Holy Just barely. You will never lose people, Atreides. Damn, that score is incredible. We gave them something to hope for. That's not hope! May thy knife chip and shatter. <laughs> Woo! Well, IMAX, November 3rd, Woo, that day cannot come soon enough, holy shit, that looked good, uh, love how they keep teasing uh, them riding the, uh, the, the sandworms, it's going to blow your minds once you fully see the scale and the size, which we really only got a tease of in the first movie, and uh, so basically the Fremen, uh, they, you know, to get all over the planet, they ride the sandworms. And uh, in the book, it's kind of a big reveal. In the movie, it's going to be a big reveal. I mean, most people have kind of 
figured it out by now. They tease it right at the end of Dune Part 1, and they tease it again, and, uh, and Fremen are supposed to be the only ones that can ride the sandworms, not anybody from outside the planet, or even people on the planet that aren't Fremen, if my memory is correct. Just noticed. Okay. For a second, I thought my audio wasn't recording. Scared me. But, yeah. That's my uh, reaction to Dune chapter, uh, Dune Part 2. And it looks incredible. I think Denis Villeneuve has done it again. Everybody looks incredible. Uh, I'm surprised that they revealed that Gurney Halleck is still alive. Uh, I think most, you know, people who've never read the book assume he dies died at the end. But he doesn't. He's far from dead. Uh, Josh Brolin is a badass and a perfect pick to play Gurney. And uh, he, he's going to surprise people in this one. He'll become, I wouldn't say more of a central character in this. Well, he's going to be a central character, but he won't be like a main character. But Paul Atreides will definitely still be the focus of this movie. And, oh, man, I just wish we could... I don't want to spoil anything. I can't. I, all right, I'm not going to spoil anything. But we're going to have deeper discussions on Dune Part Two as the year goes on. Uh, anticipation's high. I hope this really gains a following in terms of the, the the books have their fans, but I hope the movies, you know, start to really become huge for uh, movie audiences around the world. Because I want to see the next books adapted to the big screen. Uh, because it is literally going to blow people's minds. And everyone will see how George Lucas, Star Wars, and every sci-fi film that has came since the 1950s, when Frank Herbert uh, first released these, uh, this first novel, uh, how everybody just stole from it. And nobody says anything about it. Nobody's ever called out George Lucas. It's crazy. Uh, but, yeah. That's my reaction. Please, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, comment. Both those help my videos get up in the algorithm. All you have to do is click that like button. <laughs> I'm about to sneeze. Uh, or cough or something. But yeah, like button, subscribe, comment. It helps me out so much. Road to 10,000 to 20,000 subscribers. Here we go. Let's do it this year. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you next time. Peace.